Hi, thanks for tuning in again. David here, Royal Navy Yacht Master. So today's subject is fenders, tying fenders on, adjusting fenders. Ah, oh, I see some disasters on some boats. I want you to think about if you just got a boat or you own one for a while, fenders actually, when you're in the marina, make a big impact on the overall appearance of the boat. And also they kind of tell a tale of whether you as the owner and driver kind of know what you're doing and so let me illustrate my point so when I see boats where the fenders are hanging over the side half half in the water right I see boats where they're up high too high and also the fenders themselves okay if your fenders are totally disgusting dirty and smashed up with some grubby bit of rope hanging off them maybe replace them okay um, and, you know, they, they cost a few bucks, but they, they transform the appearance of your boat. There's nothing like a nice matching set of fenders with matching rope that raises the appearance of your boat. In fact, if you have a look, I've put them over the side here. Again, this is a charter boat, so we've got a blue and two reds, but you see the point. All the fenders are nice and clean. Imagine if this was your boat and, you know, they just, they just raise the tone of how the boat is, is secured. So let's talk about how we tie them on and what they're supposed to do, right? So as you know, the fender stops you crunching the dock or crunching your next door neighbor boat. Here in the Mediterranean, they jam them in tight together, moored stern to or med mooring, and you really need the fenders up high. So the most important point of securing them is the height, right? So if we were going in between other boats, we'd have them up high, the widest part of the boat. If we're going in against a dock, especially in California where the docks are low, we'd have it all the way down. We never have it in the water, okay? It's just off the water and you figure out what height you want it at, okay? So let's talk about tying it on. You can see the charter people have tied on halfway around the stanchion. That's fine, nothing wrong with that. Here's how to make it easy on yourself. You can tie, tie the fender on directly on the guardrail. There's nothing wrong with that, but the guardrails sag. And again, we're trying to give an appearance of looking kind of proper, like we know what we're doing. So if I, I've always favored tying this fender on around the top of a, guard, of a stanchion, I should say. I said guardrail, stanchion. So there's a couple of ways you can tie it on. So the first way is a very simple knot. So we come, we've adjusted for height, right? Maintaining tension so the fender doesn't sag as we're tying the knot. We come over the top. We then continue the line in the direction it's going. This becomes a clove hitch. And the fender is held there. For safety, we can come over again. Again, continuing the direction of travel of the rope. And we can come back through the loop give ourselves another hitch for safety. I encourage you to then either bring the tail of the rope in and lay it flat on the deck or have it hanging smartly directly down behind the fender. Again we're trying to give a nice nice appearance to your boat right like we know what we're doing everything's proper. A um, couple of variations on this. You can do the quick release. So we started the knot that stays the same we come over, especially as I have a long tail on this rope, and I can do a hitch like this. Then if I want to release it in a hurry, I just pull that, and there it comes, all right? So there's that one. Another variation on the knot tying, and this is a really useful knot to use that you can have in other situations, is the round turn and two half hitches. And I'm gonna cheat a little bit, so the way the knot is supposed to look is a round turn and then there's your round turn having adjusted for height right and we have to keep tension as we're tying the the knot otherwise the fender is going to slide so again maintaining the height of the fender so there's our round round turn and then there's one half hitch and going in the same direction there's another half hitch so that's the knot, but you see it slid away off the, off the uh, stanchion top. So here's how I'm going to do it. It's a little bit of kind of cheating, but not really. And so I'll show you how I do it. So get set up, adjust for height. We like the height. 
I'm going to do my round turn this way across the top of the stanchion and then I'm going to come under holding tension here or it'll all sag. There's one half hitch, there's two half hitches and it's held nicely on top of the stanchion. Okay, I really encourage you then when you're out, when you've left the marina, I always take the fenders off and stick them down the back of the boat out of sight somewhere. Again, you've, you've bought your boat, part of the appeal of your boat is the way it looks. A bit like your car, right? You want it to look nice. The fenders at the best of times are not that pretty. So at the very least, bring them in, lay them flat on the deck. I always like to lay them all in the same direction. Okay. Um, and then, and again, it just makes it look pretty and proper. If you're driving a performance uh, powerboat, you're going to be hitting waves and bouncing. These will fly back over the side, and they'll flop around and bounce around all day long. It's your choice if you want to take them off, but I recommend doing it. That's kind of the proper way, right? So, again, thanks for tuning in. Hope this was helpful. Like and subscribe. Visit me at RoyalNavyYachtMaster.com. Thank you.